Hi children, welcome back to the online English classes of Sri Gogilam Public School Gurivayur. I am Sabida Joseph, your English teacher. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at home. In the last class, we were discussing about the naming words, nouns. What is collective noun? Collective noun are the words for group or collection of people, place, animal or thing. Today, let's do some activities on this collective noun. So, let's start today's class. Write suitable names for the given collection. Children, on the screen you can see some sentences with blanks. On the right side of the screen you can see a help box. What you want to do is write suitable collective noun from the box. Let's start with the first sentence. And dash of soldiers. What we call for a group of soldiers? Army and army of soldiers. What Next we one. call for a collection a of, of flowers. flowers? You can see that picture on the screen. That is bouquet. It is the collection of flowers. A bouquet of flowers. A dash of birds. If there is a group of birds, what we will call them? A flight of birds. So, flight of birds. It is the collective noun. Next one. A dash of cards. If there is a collection of cards, what will we call them? A pack of cards. So, that is the correct collective noun. So, children, find out the other suitable collective nouns. Then, write down the answers in your notebook and also check the answer keys in the Google Classroom. Move on to the next activity. That is noun in numbers. What is the difference between singular and plural? Singular means one. Plural means more than one. For example, boy is a singular noun. If there is more than one boy, what will we say? Boys. Toy, toys. Mango, mangoes. Very simple. So, in this activity, you need to change the singular noun into plural noun. Before that, we need to understand what all changes will come when we change a singular noun into plural. Plural nouns usually end in S. For example, lamp, lamps. Worker, workers. Hawk, hogs. Etc. But when the last letters of singular nouns are CH, SH, S or X, you usually add ES to form the plural. For example, see the first one, arch. This noun ends with the sound CH. The spelling is CH. When a word ends with that letters, you need to add ES with the noun. So, it becomes arches. See the next one, branch. Here you can see that noun end with two letters, CH. So, we added ES, so it becomes branches. Next one, brush. This word end with the letters SH, brush. So, we added ES, so it becomes brushes. Next one, flash. This word also end with the letters SH. So, we added ES. So, children, remember when a noun end with these letters that is CH or SH or S or X, we need to add ES. Then, the singular noun will become plural. Some exceptions are stomach and monarch. These words end with the sound K. So, we need to add S instead of ES. Another change you have to remember is with some nouns that end in the letter Y, we form the plural by changing the Y to I and adding ES. See the first example, lady. This word end with the letter Y. So, we changed that letter Y into I and we also added ES. So, the noun become lady to 
ladies see the next word baby this word also end with the letter y so we added i instead of y and also added es so it become babies and also remember if there is a vowel sound before the y that is i a o sound we just add s to form the plural see the word bay that word and with the sound a so we only add s in the word boy it end with the sound oi there also we add only s not es another rule is with some nouns ending in f the plural ending is ves we change f to v and add es when a noun ending with the letter f what we have to do we need to change that letter f and we need to write ves with the noun see the example leaf this word end with the letter what f so what we have to do we need to change that letter f and add ves so it become leaves the spelling will change l e a v e s see another example wolf it become wolves because the wolf last letter is f so we change that letter f and added v e s and with some nouns that end in f or f e we just add s to form the plural see the word chief when we change that word into plural it become chiefs we only add s so children don't get confused just watch the video and understand another thing you have to remember is in the case of nouns that end in the letter o means the words kangaroo that word end with the letter o the word video that also end with the letter o in the case of that letters what we have to do we need to add s in some other case we need to add es let's see the example the first word kangaroo kangaroo this noun end with the letter o so what we have to do we need to add s so it become kangaroos the next noun video this word end with the letter o so what we have to do we need to add s to make it plural so it become videos next word tornado this word end with the letter o we added es to make it plural tornadoes next word hero for making this word plural we added es so it become heroes so children here you can see for some nouns we need to add s to form the plural whereas others we need to add es to form the plural it's only because when the nouns end with vowel sound plus o we add s when the nouns end with the consonant sound plus o we add es see the word video this word end with the vowel sound and o which are the vowel sounds a e i o u so other sounds are consonant the word video end with the vowel sound e and o so we add s with the noun so it become videos and see another word that is zoo that word also end with the vowel sound o and o so we add s see the word tomato that word end with the sound or letter t and o t is not a vowel sound it is consonant sound so we added es and another words tornado that also end with the sound d and o d is a consonant sound and o is also the so we added es hero potato these two nouns also end with the consonant sound and o so we added es so 
remember it the plural of some nouns is the same as the singular for example deer deer fish fish and the plural form of some noun is different from the singular form for example goose geese foot feet ox oxen child children in your textbook there is an activity give the plural form of each noun before that children you watch the video once more to understand what all changes we need to do when we change a singular noun into plural let's discuss some words see the first one boy it is singular when we change into the plural it becomes boys see the next word toy what is the plural form of toy toys roof roofs hoof hoofs chief chiefs golf golfs proof proofs class classes mango mangoes brush brushes so children find out the plural forms of other singular nouns by yourself answer keys will be given in the google classroom check it so dear children i hope you all understood today's class write the answers in your notebook the textbook and answer key also attached in the google classroom we'll meet in the next class until then take care bye